I'm calling to order the uh, meeting of the Public Art Committee of Tarpon Springs on Wednesday, September 13th, 2023 at 2 p.m. in the City Hall's second floor media room. Megan, would you call the roll, please? Mr. Toth? Here. Ms. Christopoulos? Here. Mr. Jones? Here. Mr. Stackhouse? Here. Ms. Arbitello? Here. Ms. McGrath? Here. Ms. Wood? Here. And Chair Jennings has excused absence. And um, Ms. Arbitello will be a voting member today. Okay. To replace Joan. Um, there are no guests at present. Um, has everyone read the minutes from August the 9th? Yes. Yep. Can I have a motion to approve the minutes, please? I'll make it. Thank you. And a second? A second. Thank you. All those in favor, say aye. 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 The minutes are approved. Old business, current projects, Black Heritage Project update. Uh, we have um, a, uh, a memo from Stephen Oliver, the artist, on uh, September 6th. And we also have some photographs. Um, I assume that everybody's had a look at those and read them. Mm -hmm. Everything seems to be going along swimmingly, we might say, because of the storm. <laughs> right. Um, has anyone actually been down to uh, the uh, uh, to, to see the construction? I have not. No, not yet. I think I'll go past it tomorrow. No? Mm -hmm. No. I pass it every day. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. yeah. Um, I think um, I think it'd be nice if before the next meeting, mm -hmm. each one of us individually um, took a swing by and, a, and say hello to Stephen and make sure he... he he doesn't think that we've forgotten him. Yeah. OK. OK. Um, the Riverside Field Mural Project. Diane, is there any update to that? Yes. Um, we have actually four people who have um, submitted proposals. And I will bring those to you at the October meeting, because we have until the end of September for submissions. Thank you. That's excellent. Yeah. The um, illuminated art boxes. Graham, do you have any update for that? <laughs> I do. Um, there are <laughs> there are a hundred, so far a hundred and four images have been submitted oh, nice. by forty artists. Nice. So um, uh, many of them are, um, in my humble opinion, truly excellent. And I think that the uh, committee is going to have a hard time choosing 40 images, mm -hmm. uh, even if we don't get any more by the end of September. And I know we will, because um, I've been promised some more. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's, that's going along quite well. Mm -hmm. The um, can, can I say? Please. Just bring something up. Is there a, a, an entry limit to how much you can put in? I mean, because that, that's what's going to be the confusion of the thing. There are three. Three. You can only enter three. You can only enter okay. three. Okay, so and we're still under. I thought it was two. I'm just, yeah, it's, it's three. And um, and when you get the um, the sheets that I will print for the selection at the next meeting, um, the images will be identified with a number and a letter. The number will represent the artist in random order, and the letter will represent the image that they've submitted in random order, together with the title and the medium. OK, great. OK? Mm -hmm. and, um, and that's what we'll get. So you'll be able to tell whether it's um, house paint on, um, on reclaimed wood or um, oil on canvas or whatever. Yeah. Which, you know, I think is important when people are looking at them to know what they are. Sure. Miss. But you can't know who it is. Uh, here he ah, is. Yes, there. welcome, he's, Stephen. He's Thank you. Um, we'll depart from our um, procedure. Welcome, Stephen, for uh, Stephen Oliver, the artist for the, the Black Heritage Project. Um, are you ready to give us a report right now, or do you want a sure, few minutes? Uh, it's not a problem at all. Yep. I Joan is okay. I miss her, seeing her. Um, she's recovering from COVID. Oh. And uh, she's on the recovery 
side of it. So good. this is good. Yes. If you could come up to the podium. Stop. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, she should um, should have. Th I think she got all of you my my latest update or. Yeah, we okay. have the um, okay, the, the the nine okay. six note and the uh, mm -hmm. photographs that you sent. Yeah. So. so Things have pushed back a little bit with the hurricane and I, actually a family funeral in the last couple of days. But um, everything is going together well there, um, pretty precisely. A couple of small adjustments that I've made, including this morning. So um, basically the rest of that frame I'm putting up now um, after a couple of adjustments. And um, yeah, so that's, that's uh, the story with that. Um, I also extended the insurance because the project has, you know, been going on for a while, we had a bunch of different, you know, um, meetings and approval levels to. Um, but in any case, I went to O'Donnell, had the uh, policy extended, so that's part of the contract. Mm -hmm. So that's done. It's actually done for a full year. We won't need that much time, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> not nah. um, the um, the resin material. I just got word today. Looks like everything is printed, and they're going to do the final finishing get it ready to get the ship and then they're going to the accounting is going to contact me so uh about about uh, when it's ready so um i'll let everybody know that's uh that's the like the biggest single ticket item i'll let diane through diane know uh when that's ready you know when it's paid for um uh i actually made i had some different i didn't i they said for four to six weeks it's turning out to be a little longer but it's kind of okay um I actually had, a, in my update, you might have seen that I actually built a trailer <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, because I knew I needed to haul the artwork, but it also would be good as an option to pick up this resin. So that's why my, my intention is to actually go get it. Um, and a lot easier than Washington State or Salt, Salt Lake City. This is actually New Hampshire. Uh -huh. So I'm going to pick that up. And uh, so I'm just waiting to hear word um, from them when it's ready. Mm -hmm. Wait um, until after um, Hurricane Lee has been passed. <laughs> Well, actually, it'll probably, yeah, it'll be, it'll be, yeah, I think that I would miss that, I think. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, anyway, um, there's anything else. I saw Nick Macris from the city again today, mm -hmm. so he's willing to, to help, and uh, so I'm engaging him about the concrete footings at the marina. Mm -hmm. um, we're in an interesting place now because prior to this point, it would have been more expensive and delayed more to sort of separate, like do one thing at a time. Because I bulk, even the wayfinding piece, I got all that into the order, so it would be it wouldn't delay four to six weeks or whatever. It wouldn't cost extra shipping, all that stuff. So um, now we have a little bit of wiggle room. Whether we do we want to finish that one fully, or, you know, that kind of thing before we do the marina. But everything is uh, all the formwork is ready for the marina. So. I'm ready to go on that, but uh, you know, there's plenty to do yeah. <laughs> once I get the resin on all, on both of them. So that can be probably negotiated. So, so am I to understand that you're going to go and pick up the mm -hmm. resin up in New Hampshire? Yep. <laughs> wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Make sure you've got enough insurance for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to lose it on the way down. Oh no, no, no. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Good. Is there anything that the um, committee can do or, or that the city can do to help at this point? Um, Nick has kind of I've touched base with him and um, he is um, what happened I was one of the you may remember I was very interested in what concrete was used at the seawall and who did the work so I could try to match it and also the salt with the adding the salt resistant additive I wouldn't know what that was mm -hmm. I did get the name of that firm but they were bought out that explains why every time I did the call I couldn't I couldn't get through. Mm -hmm. Nick knew that, so um, hopefully we're going to be able to identify that. He may be helpful in that. Once I get the footing, I mean the former again to help with the pouring. You know, it's not a big pour, but for one person, mixing bags isn't a good idea. But yeah. you know, we just want a, 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 about a, almost a about a yard, almost a yard between the two mm -hmm. things. Just come in, boom, and then level out and let it dry, basically. Yeah. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Does um, mm -hmm. anyone have any questions for? Mm -hmm. no. 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 It's very exciting to see things 
you know, like yeah. tangible things happening. Yeah. So it's, it's really You'll exciting. notice down, down there, and I think I said in the notes that I'm using that fence as actually as a, as it turned out to work out to, to use it a temporarily as a, a barrier. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as we get further along, when we get to the point where the resin's here and cut and ready to put on, then I can start peeling that fence away and, uh, and it'll look really different at that point. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Terrific. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So roughly when do you think the resin will be? Um, they here? said they're going to let me know. So um, Got it. I'm, I, imagine, I, I, I imagine it's probably going to be within a week. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I would think by the time they get it, um, get it all. I think what they do is they, um, but you said finishing it. So I don't know whether they're spraying, coating anything on there. I know that they put, I'm pretty sure they put like a protective film on it. Mm. that protects it you know, up to the point of installation. So that may be what they're doing right now. And once they're going to do it, they're going to let me know. I told them that because they have a trailer, and I spec the trailer, built it to hold the weight. I knew what the weight would be. Mm. So um, you know, it may save actually some effort to just be able to put them right on there. Mm -hmm. And I've got all kinds of tarps and you know, packing and you know, tie-downs and stuff. So. Mm -hmm. And I plan to drive very carefully. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Six days on ninety-five isn't going to be fun. Yeah. You know what? I um I. When I get north, I kind of shy away from you know ninety-five. There's uh -huh. some other routes, and yes, with this particular thing, I probably would even be driving some slightly different hours, avoid traffic. Yeah. It's bad enough as it is with just yeah. regular driving. You know. <laughs> you know, I can <laughs> save on both the temperature, <laughs> you know, that when it's hot oh, out, yeah. and also just uh, you know. That's kind of my thinking. So yeah. yeah, I've done it. I've done it going back and forth a lot because you know, Christ, I'm in Maine part of the year, and I've needed. I need to spend a little time up there to check on things. I haven't been up there for a long time since I've been extended my whole summer here. Mm -hmm. So I need to spend a little time up there, and then you know, come back and then get roaring again. You know, back into it. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Terrific. Thank you very okay. much. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, moving along now to the St. Kate's Sculpture Maintenance. Um, Nick, do you have anything? That would be or me. Diane, do you have anything? Um, well, I've reached out to them three times and have not really gotten any response, but um, the other day I was uh, made aware that uh, a truck needed to come on to Craig Park, which I had originally told them that they could coordinate that through Brandon Crum, our uh, public works superintendent. So. Apparently, they did go out to, um, you know, the, the mermaid. Mm -hmm. So, but I have not heard anything about, you know, um, what they've done or if they've, you know, completed it. So, I will try again a fourth time to get an answer. Thank you. Yeah. The Peace Pole Project. Since Who's was that? That was Joan, and so since she's not here, I have not I have not received any updates on that. Um, okay. So. All right. Well, we'll hold that over until next time. The virtual tour guide. Uh, yes, I'm continuing to do some research. I found some new places that was that I found through a website that several uh, municipalities have used. Um, so that's adding about three more to the mix. I also eliminated one because it was about. Uh, almost fifteen hundred dollars a year, so they do it by like an ongoing thing. But the mm -hmm. the um, pixel sticks I found it's uh, one hundred ninety nine dollars per piece, and then that then it's on the site. Um, so that's the one I'm leaning towards. But I found another one that's called Etchster that a couple of cities have gone through. So um, I found some new things and eliminated some more. So I'm still putting it together. It's like. I'm, I'm a terrible Google searcher. I am awful at it, and I don't know why. I don't know if I'm too specific or too broad or whatever, but I was getting really frustrated, and then all of a sudden I hit pay dirt on mm -hmm. several others. So I'm putting that together. Something I looked up the one that um, I believe the, the Tarpon Springs, the Walk Tarpon Springs mm -hmm. through the Humanities Council, it, it linked to a something called Story, and that was the one that was like almost $1,500 a year. Mm -hmm. So I pretty much crossed that one off, but I did go to the Florida Humanities, and they have several grant options. I don't know if we're eligible for any of it, but I sent them an email. Um, they've got one, uh, something about media, and the 2024 deadlines will be 
and they said stay posted for the 2024 deadlines. In the meantime, I sent them an email saying this is who we are, this is what we do, looking at maybe either building or using an existing app to create this for Tarpon Springs. Maybe we could extend it for, you know, if it works for us, maybe some other communities in Florida, would this be eligible? So I just sent that today, so I'm waiting to hear back on that. So I should have a lot more information for the next meeting. And in fact, if, uh, if I can multitask while I'm substitute teaching, I might be able to get it sooner than the next meeting. So that's my plan. Um, but we've got a lot of uh, new exciting things that actual municipalities and nonprofit groups are using. I think that's a lot more in the wheelhouse that we're looking at rather than monetizing it. The ones that I was looking at were trying to monetize it, and this is how you monetize it, and I don't think that's really what we're interested in at this point. Right, right. So, um, so kind of switched gears, but I think it's on a good track. So I should have, I'm going to try and narrow it down to five, um, doing some more research on the new ones that I found. The, um, you, you, you mentioned grants, and that um, brings to mind the CRA, the uh, COVID Recovery Act. Mm -hmm. um, there are still considerable funds available for distribution in the CRA all over the state. Um, I don't know whether the city has any left. Um, um, certainly the county does, okay. and some other cities within, within the county. So it may be worthwhile trying to... Okay. Follow up on that. I will certainly do that. So, okay. At last count, I think there's about, in total for Pinellas County, there's about $25 million left. Okay. That's great. Um, there's a couple of ones that I found where it's a, it's a company that actually does it. They have their own proprietary stuff. And a couple of municipalities... Um, I want to say around Boston, have used them. And so they show this is what we did for this city, this is what we did for this city. That uh, would be a little bit higher cost than the other ones that I'm looking at. But if we could, you know, do that, it might be mm -hmm. another option to consider. So I'll check yeah. with Pinellas County and see what kind of funds might be available for something like that and include at least one of those kind of options in, in the grouping. Mm -hmm. And... Before I said that I was going to try and put together a spreadsheet, it wasn't working out well for me. So I think I might just manually make a table. So okay, because it was it was uh, besting me. Well, then what do you want to do? Do you want uh, Dawn to just kind of like bring you know the five that she recommends, like the the website links and everything? Um, to the next meeting or do you want her to send it beforehand so you all can kind of check it out and then come to the meeting and discuss? I think that would be better. That possible. would be better if um, if that's not putting too much pressure on you. No. Um, if, you know, the sooner we can have a look at it and each individually examine the results of your search, right. uh, the better. Yeah. But, uh, Okay, yeah. what, what I think I'm going to do instead of a spreadsheet is I'm just going to do a sheet of paper, like an info sheet. This is the mm -hmm. one. That's have the, and then it, the PDF will have clickable links. Yeah. And then, you know, sure. you guys can send it out and you can, you know, click around as much as you want to. Mm -hmm. I'll include the basic information and cost on that sheet. It'll just be in, like a, an info sheet for each one. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. So if you could send that to Diane as soon as you can. Okay. That'd be wonderful. I'm going to shoot for two weeks. Thank you. And we have another guest just arrived, Katie Taylor. Welcome, Katie. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Um, the next item is the review of the PAC brochure. That I do not have. Um, oh, okay. I, Diane sent me some photos, but I got so engrossed in this and substitute teaching that I was not able to get to it. So my apologies, but um, I should be able to have that to you before the other... Um, the, yeah, the, the QR codes and the walking tour stuff. So, okay. like, one week. I'm probably one week yeah. away. I just got to do a little tweaking of the things. But I did um, I did a little sketch, if you wanted to see. This is kind of my idea. The uh, Yeah, it's okay. my sketch. But the city of Tarpon Springs at the top, that's what we wanted, the info, right? And then our well. Tarpon Arts QR code at the bottom. Yeah. And then just full of photos. We don't really need any text, right? My understanding is that um, Apple started 
on the back of a, a napkin in a restaurant. So. There you go. See, <laughs> I'm in good company. There you go. Um, <laughs> Okay, so, so that's my plan is no words really, just the uh, Tarpon Springs public art uh, project, photos, and the QR code. Mm -hmm. Does that work for everybody? Yeah, we'll see a mock up and we'll see yeah. decide. Okay. They can decide. Yeah, look for that in the next week. Okay, thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. and, and again, please send it to Diane. And, Diane, and she'll and she will send it out to everybody. Yeah. 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 Um, next item on the agenda is the Dorset <coughs> Park project. Nick. Do you have anything? Yes. Um, yes. Uh, uh, two weeks ago, uh, I met with uh, Ms. Taylor and uh, Mr. David Archie, mm -hmm. and um, we kind of went over. Uh, I don't know if, if everyone got the letter or, uh, you know, the uh, uh, synopsis I of the meeting. Don't think we printed that. Oh, okay. Nope. So <laughs> could you okay. well, let me synopsis. summarize that? <laughs> 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 okay. The three of us met. Um, there is, let me get my notes then. Since, uh, Bring everyone up to speed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I met with uh, you know with uh, Katie May and uh, David Archie, and there's uh, they've formed a committee. There is the Dorset Park Revitalization Committee, okay. and all, and uh, I can give you the names of it if or I can, okay. the record on the committee are Katie Taylor, Juliana Day, Maggie Miles, Victoria Marston. Michael Ford, and I believe uh, James Dorset was uh, recently added uh, to the committee as well. Okay. Did and you I'll, get those names for the record? I'll give them. To, I've got them written down. Mm -hmm. and, okay. And, and, I'll, and, uh, and what the committee is uh, working on is uh, some of the different some different projects at Dorset Park, and some of them, you know, uh, are under our uh, in our wheelhouse of what we do. They have one project that they're calling the Calvin uh, Rudy Royal Project. Um, Calvin Royal was someone uh, who, uh, I guess, was very prominent in the community as far as uh, sports, getting the kids uh, uh, interested and, yeah. uh, and all. And then another, uh, and they also want to, uh, and to honor uh, uh, Calvin Royal, they want to do murals around the building. It's a bit larger than at the... Uh, Riverside Tennis Complex, a building similar and all, but like to do murals wrapping around the building, which uh, depicting the various sports, uh, you know, that we had uh, uh, baseball, softball, basketball, soccer, uh, children playing and all, and, uh, you know, to have that on the mural. They'd also like uh, plaques on the building um, to commemorate uh, Mr. Royal and to also uh, commemorate uh, and honor uh, Edward Dorset, who the park is named after. Now, we went over uh, uh, some of the things that uh, the art committee is, you know, it's things that we are able to do. And then I had a, I went and saw Diane after the meeting, and, uh, and I had already discussed this, Katie and I, uh, that there were things, you know, that we spoke about that weren't really uh, things that the uh, public art committee uh, does, you know, and I know that. Uh, um, let's see, some of the things we spoke about at the meeting were, uh, you know, besides the mural, and then the two plaques were benches, that which is uh, in our uh, artistic benches, which is in our purview, and all. Uh, they also inquire about uh, playground matting, which I don't believe is. I believe that's. Uh, City. More of the city uh, than our committee here, um, and also a sign uh, at the entrance of the park uh, uh, for a, uh, uh, to a you know a new sign to to designate the the park. Now, uh, what we spoke about uh, was that the committee uh, has been working with an artist on some other projects they're doing. I believe it was out at the uh, at Rose Cemetery, I think it was, uh, and all that uh, Katie told me. And this person, the artist, had uh, given them uh, some drawings of uh, ideas for a mural on the thing. One of the questions that came up at the, within the meeting was the procedure to uh, uh, how do we do this? Uh, 
does there need to be a formal call to artists, you know, on this project? Uh, was one of the the, the questions uh, we had, you know. Um, is you know should we let the uh, other committee you know uh, decide who the artist uh, you know choose an artist and submit the 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 mural and all to us you know for our approval or how that should be handled that was one of the things now I know that uh, also in the meeting uh, Katie informed me that uh, she met I believe yesterday with uh, the city manager uh, and all so. Uh, some of the questions you might have uh, regarding what uh, role, you know, the art committee plays in the projects and what role, you know, other entities, the city play, might be answered, you know, if uh, uh, Ms. Taylor wanted to, to speak to that, that might, you know, save us uh, any, uh, some questions and all. But that was uh, pretty much the, uh, the uh, meeting. One of the things, too, that I, um, <clears throat> after uh, Nick and I met, um, I had sent, I had emailed him a, um, a form that the public art committee uses Call for artists. artists, you know, kind of thing that want to propose a project to the committee. And so, um, it kind of asks for different things like, you know, their bio, the, and also like it would ask like the, their choice of artists to go ahead and show you all the renderings that they are proposing for the different sides of the building and things like that. So. They would have to fill all that out. I also, um, you know, so I think that would, in my opinion, um, it would be the, just like when we did the Black Heritage um, Project, maybe the um, their selection committee would choose the artist, but it is going to be the final word of the public art committee whether their images you know his his or her images are accepted or not you know kind of thing and modifying and going back and forth that okay. way so that's my understanding of how that would would work so okay okay thank you um thank you diane uh, f uh, there are two things first of all the simplest solution to this is for the public art committee to create a selection committee, much along the lines of the Black Heritage um, uh, Project Selection Committee, and for the members of the Dorset Park Revitalization Committee to be the members of that selection committee. Okay? And for them to use us to send out using our good offices with the city, i.e. you, Diane, um, a call to artists to, um, for each of the, the different things that are, are going on there. Does that sound like that would work? Well, I think they have an artist in mind already. There, but I don't... I... Um, okay, uh, so well, yeah, we can Kate, start I, there. Yeah. If I, could, I was going to say, um, I don't know that this it's set in stone that they want this particular artist. I think Ms. Taylor would probably speak to this uh, better than I can. But that, that they, there was someone, you know, to do it, and we were interested in finding out what the process should be. But, I mean, that mm -hmm. sounds great. Yeah. And um, if you want to speak to it, Katie, I was just thinking if we did it the way Graham suggested, um, and uh, it might open up the uh, to more artists that the, the yeah. revitalization committee. Uh, yeah, for, you know. no, uh, it's, it's just that um, in my mind, I was thinking that um, somebody who wants to do the, you know, an artist that is, for instance, um, familiar with the process for doing murals is unlikely to be the same artist that is doing decorative benches right? and vice versa um, and you know and any other things that they want these these artists tend to be a little more specialized sure. than that don't they Robert? Maybe not you never know um, but um, yeah, anyway, let's hear from Katie. Katie? Could, can you. I I'll pass you a list? I did type that list up if I share oh, great. with y'all. Oh, yes, please, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. so on on um, Victoria Murray, if you can just oh. put M Mas M -A -R -S -T -A -N. That's what I was Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 <laughs> Thank you. 
Everybody have a copy. Joan has a copy, right? Mm -hmm. You okay, said this Murray, you said Murray was what? Was M A R S T O N. Victoria Murray dash M A R S T O N. Okay. And as you can see, we also added a person, James Dorset, Mr. Dorset's son now is on this committee. And um, um Nate Crawford, he's on this committee. So we now we have a full set committee. This, this committee, we spoke to Mr. LaCours yesterday, and he he's using our committee for everything in Dorset Park and like various things in the community. So we're trying to focus it down to one committee. Mm -hmm. And yes, this committee would be the one that's working with the Art Council. And I agree, I feel like, yeah, to be fair, we put a call to artists and let everybody put their bid in. So I'm all in favor of that. Um, Is the artist you've been talking to known to us? I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> but Stephen might know him, uh, Nolan, Nolan Anderson. He was at the camp when y'all was there. Remember we were oh, the university? Yeah, okay. I think, all right, I think I did meet somebody, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he, he's an artist that the university chose to to, uh, to do Rose Cemetery mm -hmm. wall. Okay. So he, he would give a sketch that's like everybody else, but I want to make sure it's fair and yeah. we keep it fair to everybody. One of the things, too, Ms. Taylor, you have to, we have to um, discuss as well, if we do a call to artists, you know, the your committee and the public art committee needs to um, decide on what the um, the price of you know what they're willing to pay for public art committees yeah. got to decide on what they're willing to pay for the mural for the entire building and the particular artist that's chosen has to have the um, insurance requirements that the city dictates which yeah. I can get all that yeah. to you the, but you the know. call has to include the parameters mm -hmm. of what's being right. required so we have to understand that in order to be able to include it in the call right. and um, and then we have to decide what a, a fair offer would be to an artist so how would that process start so my understanding you correctly that for the mural you are okay with doing a general call to artists mm -hmm. okay and the mural is, is supposed to consist of children playing swinging in the park um, a ball player hitting mm -hmm. hitting the balls, uh, softball, baseball, and little league yeah. ball players. C can you, um, Nick? Can you work with them to get the dimensions and shapes, and um, you know maybe some photographs of the existing thing, and also um, the wording? For you know, this like is exactly I, like that thing you have in your head. <laughs> I had gotten this at the meeting. I thought you know. But anyway. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, question on the on the mural, Miss Katie. Um, would you think it would be you know, um, since it's supposed to be a tribute, um, would you want it to include maybe of one of the figures that you're, I can't remember the names uh, now. Uh, Royal, Mr. Royal. Mr. Royal, or, sorry. Or, or, or um, Dorset. Like, you know, or a yeah, sketch Richard of Dorset. His face. Yeah. Right, something yeah. of them interacting with the kids or something. I mean, so if it's a tribute to them, is that something that we need to include in that call? Is it, you know, they should be included in some form? Well, we, I'm just asking we, if that's what your intention is. Well, the are. mural, I'm, I'm skeptical of, of saying it's just for one person because Dorset Park, Mr. Edward, we don't want to leave him out of the right. Picture. Okay, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. Calvin was was the one that did all the um, the operations, mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. all the set up all the ball ball games and things like that. So he was more interactive with the kids. Sure, but the playground part he didn't handle just softball, all the sports. Mm -hmm. So okay. his family is the one that want to do something for him, representing the sports aspect of it. When you when we talk about having the kids in the swings in the playground, then we're incorporating the whole park. So we, uh -huh. we want to make sure we we focus on the whole park, mm -hmm. but give Calvin some recognition. So the plaques, the two plaques, one was going to be for Mr. Edward Dorset, one was going to be for Calvin. Okay. Um, if it, if it would be just a, a a picture of Calvin's face, then maybe yeah, and then one maybe a picture of Mr. Dorset's face on the other end of the mural. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to leave out. Anybody, you know, okay. when it comes I out. was just wondering if that was, you know, because this was supposed to be a tribute, if that was something that was in, you know. Um. Yeah, it's, it, this one here is a tribute to Calvin for, for the things he did for the salt, for the sports part in there. Okay. So. Because, I mean, I could imagine something interesting yeah. with him interacting yeah. with a kid, you know, like a figure that's similar yeah. to him. Yeah. Be, yeah. You know. The other thing that I was thinking was that um, this, this notion of a, of a marker, a plaque, 
um, it's beginning to sound to me like it's a historical marker. And we already have a process within the city for placing I did and check creating with, those. Yeah, I did check with Karen Lemons to see, because she did the historical you know, plaques around the city. Um, and uh, I, she did give me prices on them, but I do not think that she said that I because asked her if it was in the CRA, you know, funds and everything. And she said it, that uh, Dorset Park is not in the CRA. So, and the, the plaques, the, those bronze plaques, uh, they could cost anywhere from like three, um, maybe $25 to $4,000 each. Wow. Yeah, they're expensive. Yeah, we're just talking about the ones that's in case, you know, the ones that's in a, in a glass case. Mm. Oh. The history where you just put a person's history in a glass case and it's, you see a picture of them and then you t it tells all about the person, what oh. they did. Mm -hmm. So it's a plaque, but it's not one of those that you stick in the ground and put up in the air. Now these are know. like bronze plaques that they yeah. have adhered to the walls, you know, like around the city, you know, kind of thing. Okay. The historic no, they were looking for more one that's in a glass case, you know, the ones that it, mount it, to the wall. Is this, is this a possibility for a third called artist? Uh, seeing that the plaque could be, I mean, it's a commemorative uh, plaque, yeah. and could it be something that the called artist? There are people that do this. Yes. I mean, it's a $4,000 plaque. And uh, instead of just, you know, blah, 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 you have somebody being a little bit more creative with it. The only mm -hmm. problem, I think, with the way you're talking about having it enclosed in something with our humidity and the weather here in Tarp, you know, in just Florida, you know, there's moisture that can get into them, and I don't know if it well, would. I'm thinking bronze. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I think it should be bronze. I mean, that's what, yeah. that's I don't what know the what the standard, of it is, I mean, that's the high standard for it is, is bronze, uh, and bronze is, is, you know, if it's, if it's good enough quality bronze, it's not going anywhere. Yeah, I don't think we really want to do, if um, what you were saying was, um, you know, a regular glass-fronted case with paper inside, um, I think that that is setting the bar a little too low, if you don't mind me saying so. And we should go for, as Robert says, something um, perhaps in bronze or something more permanent that wouldn't be affected by the weather or the, um, the elements. Did I say um, you would if, have two? If that's okay, yeah. You would have two? Yes, one for each person, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, right. I think, uh, you know, this, this project's gotten a lot bigger, really, well, just yeah. in the last yeah. few minutes, in a way. Last few minutes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it could be, you know, like three called artists. You know, you've got the mural, you've got the, the, uh, the bronze medallions, and you've got the benches. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, and, you know, you're three artists on that, and, mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, yeah. you've got a budget to deal with. But. Right. And, and on the benches, um, I'd really like to combine that with the idea of benches in... Um, uh, Craig Park, which we've talked about before and on this committee, mm. um, that perhaps it's getting bigger. Well, yeah. I know it's getting bigger, but yeah. we've we've talked about the Craig Park yeah. project. I think that probably needs to be two separate because they're two separate areas, yeah. two separate calls, but. Maybe we well, it's also two separate themes. I mean, the benches mm -hmm. in the in Dorset Park True. could be sports themed. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they could be also part. Of, you know, I'm thinking, how do is there a possibility of combining some of these things? So, like, mm -hmm. you know, could the benches be commemorative if there's you know some that's, sort that's of sculpture involved? It would be the same material, maybe. You right. Could, you could get bronze benches. Out. Right, and you could create something sculptural mm -hmm. that you know was sports related, and you know even a figure of one of them sitting. On the bench, like we have at the. Um, Who are you getting expensive? Now? I am getting expensive. I know <laughs> we're getting bigger. And bigger. <laughs> I'm just uh, throwing you know, out ideas. <laughs> maybe we should talk about what the budget is. That right, maybe we should have. You know, okay, before I dream, pay before I dream too big. <laughs> it's, it's easy to scale back. It is easy to scale back. Yeah, right. But I'm just thinking of ways that maybe you know something, or even the bureau. Then maybe you know that's a way to combine the commemorative piece on within the mural somehow to do a tr you know it's, it's talking about a tribute anyway i was just thinking of ways that maybe you could you know combine some of those things yeah. but mm -hmm. um yeah i well, think oh, i'm sorry go ahead well, that's um i was just i was just doodling while we were talking this is more of my you know apple your you apple, know. apple yeah. but um you know we in in our workshop we also talked about something on the ground that kids could you know like run through like a pattern and it occurred to me if we had 
you know, just maybe a, a rock with a bronze on it for the sports, you know, for um, Mr. Royal, and then have this around it like a two color, could be like a stylized baseball diamond or something sports or just, you know, abstract, artistic around there, but have that be like a key feature there that's separate from the mural or, you know, um, just baseball an idea diamond would be great. Yeah. Something with a baseball diamond on it. That would be Yeah. Nice. Like, I mean, I, I was just drawing little squiggles, mm -hmm. but you know, if you're thinking about a stylized baseball diamond or even a baseball diamond that kids could run around and have that, you know, that recycled colored material, but then have the plaque in the middle talking about his, you know, um, Mr. Royal's contribution to the sports, to the thing and have that really tied to the sports and then have the, uh, Mr. Uh, Ed Dorsett have his thing tied to the whole park kind of thing. It was just, and I guess, you know, all of that is to say if, if we have an idea and we want to present it to the committee to consider, mm -hmm. do we go through you? Do we direct it through you to the committee? How do, how would we do that? I think, uh, Nick is the, um, is the, the point the point person for this project mm -hmm. you know with Katie okay but it has to go through me so whatever okay you need to do so give ideas to Nick through Diane yeah. what we need to do Nick if you don't mind is sure. we need to have some idea of how much money um, we'd like they would like to spend on this or they would like us to spend on it yeah um, there are you know other possibilities if we can't meet their entire budget of um, private funding because you know public private partnerships are permitted underneath our um, ordinance yeah. one of the things Graham, I'm, is the uh, you know the building itself that they want to do the mural you know that the mural to go on mm -hmm. we don't have uh, measurements or anything to know mm -hmm. or you know or go and to the building itself mm -hmm. the first thing Diane had asked me when I showed her the photos of the building mm -hmm. what parts you know what you know what part do we want to put the murals on and also that we have to come up with that and then the actual the physical measurements once we decide what where the mural is going how much mural there is so we know yes. how much mm -hmm. this is going to you know what we Ex uh, exactly so right this and what to offer so how do we 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 need a starting point as far as uh, right. on on that front to uh, I don't know if that's something you do, Diane, to um, uh, to coordinate with the city as far as they go out and, I don't know. Yeah. On, on that building, uh, we just spoke to Mr. LaCourse yesterday, and I know next year they're going to be doing some renovations to that park, and um, the layout might change altogether. Mm. But we did ask him that if the building is renovated or if the building is expanded, we're asking that the artist that selected gives us a thumb drive that we can recreate that mural. Mm. The, it, 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 the artist that did it for the cemetery, he gave us, a, he did the sketches, now he's coloring them in, but then he's gonna uh, print those and put them on a thumb drive, so if ever that wall is torn down and rebuilt, we can just recreate, because it's uh, panels. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There's panels that's going mm -hmm. on there. But um, that's good that idea. would be something that we have to think about it, mm -hmm. it, the existing building, that's the one you're getting the measurements on now. So, and it would go I just on the We need to find to out if what the plan, what the game plan is for as far plan. as that building is concerned. Yeah. Is, you know, are there going to be renovations and changes made to the building? Mm -hmm. You know, then we, you know, we don't want to yeah. paint it twice. Exactly. Right, it might be better yeah. to wait until January, they finish that. Next year is a big target. January is a lot closer than December. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, I'll find out from what they're planning to do and what the timeline is. Mm -hmm. And if they're not, then maybe you can still get it done and then, like I say, have the artist provide us something that we can recreate mm -hmm. the mural I to think, utilize it. You know, working with Nick, I think, you know, you all have kind of identified some of the areas that you are interested in. So maybe with a committee, come up with like a wish list and a priority list of which is most important to you of, you know, the ideas and things you come up with. And then... That's kind um, of what we did, with, but not with Nick because it's... It's twofold. The, the, the Dorset Park Renovation uh, Revitalization Committee is the one that's dealing with the whole park. Mm. The, the Rudy project is a project that's working under us. So it's the first project. It might be another project come later. It might be somebody else. Matter of fact, the Garden Club is going to be a project. So they have, they, they've spoken to us. We're going to meet with them about 
two events they want to have out there next year. That's good. Great. So, but the Rudy Project is the one that we're going to be doing the building for the mural. They want to they want to recognize Calvin on that building. Mm -hmm. And um, they was talking about those two wall plaques because the bathrooms was set. You know, when you go to the park, the the building that faces you got the bathrooms, and then you got two spaces on the outside of them. That's what he's talking about putting those wall plaques. But okay. if you got a different idea, put them in bronze in the ground around a, a matted, beautiful matted, matted piece on the ground, then that's the same same difference. It won't if you tear down the wall, it won't. I mean, if you tear down the building, it won't affect the yeah the plaques. It looks, it looks in pretty good shape to me. I can't imagine it, what they're going to the, do. The, no? the things inside the building is really really old. That building is mm -hmm. very old, mm -hmm. and they lost one of the. Um, they want to have more seating out there with cover because right now. Everybody have to go under that one cover. Mm. So if they're going to have a separate one, but we was hoping that they can expand that over to the fence mm -hmm. and expand the building over to the fence to have them a little more room and get all new equipment inside that inside the um, the uh, concession stand. Mm. And we also spoke to Mr. Lacourus about a, a, a I call it a splash park. I'm thinking too big. I'm shopping without the money. So <laughs> <laughs> like we all are. <laughs> There's Biba. They wrote it back. Let's think about a splash pad. I'm good with splash pad. <laughs> so that, that's just a little area where the yeah. water is shooting up out the ground. So yeah. maybe one that has the bucket that you know tilts over and pour water on them. But he's looking at that to be a part of the park too for next year. Nice. They're talking about maybe if they have to relocate the uh, tennis courts. They might relocate the tennis courts, and we ask them for a half a wall because not all of us can run for the tennis ball anymore. <laughs> I do a half a wall, and I chase the ball. Yeah. But that's what I like to see is a half a wall. So we've been speaking about stuff like that. He's looking into that for us. We had a good conversation with him yesterday on the on the park, yeah. and it's a lot of good things coming down the line. And that, preferably, if y'all can help with some of that mat that that blue foam on the ground, mm -hmm. the city might also put some in because they don't have a lot of budget for it. Yeah. But, you know, maybe if y'all mm -hmm. can help, then that would be great to get it in more places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, if we could turn that into an art project, it might be something that falls under our preview. If we have an artist come in and design, you know, some sort of artistic something there that could house, you know, the other stuff and then use the materials that would be kid friendly and, and you know, and weather friendly and stuff like that, but that would kind of switch it from a city thing to a our thing, you know, if if that's something that people want to look at. I have a look question at. for you. So, like, Miss Mr. Function sent us an email today, and we wanted, uh, you know, that little thing that go around in circles and kids hold on to your run and you just spin around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably he found one that's manufactured, you know, so it's just going to come just like the swing set, just like right. the sliding board. Yeah. Would the art council have somebody that maybe can paint it and make it pretty? Or is that not that's not something that y'all do? Once a piece of equipment is ordered, that's that's, that's a that's, manufactured that's, item. Yeah. yeah. Um, so y'all don't. Yeah, do we any, can't we can't do with you manufactured items. That. You have to get Parks and Rec to paint. do that. You know, or, or How, however, or, there there is something you brought up that uh, um, have an artist design something, and then have Public Works build it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, is, is, is that something that we can do? Is I, it, and, I, you know, then the artist gets a fee. Uh, and and I, you know, I was involved in a project uh, uh, in Battery Park City in New York City where I would get a quarter of a million dollars if I built it myself. If I had the city build it, I'd get fifty thousand dollars. Yeah. That was that was the difference. <laughs> yeah. That's a big difference. Oh. <laughs> that was the offer. Now I I luckily did not get that project. I was I was the third in it, and the person that did get it. No, the the two people that had a runoff had to go in and do more engineering and stuff like that. So they went beyond the fifty thousand dollars. So they were forced into having to build it themselves. <laughs> and you can go and see it now. It's it's by the fire station. Yeah. I think we He's need to be we He's need to be really ordered. careful about you know trying to create more work for a public works department. They are right. inundated, and there are so many projects as you can see around the city. So yeah. we want artists that can do things themselves, right? And you know minimize the um, the need for public works. Yeah. You know, so well, and the thing that I was thinking of, other than the bronze part in the middle, could might be a landscape architecture kind of thing. Well, let's leave our, it our landscape German. art. Yeah. 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 Their design, One whatever. of the things that you might want to consider is um, employing a placemaking artist to do what 
these other folks have been talking about. Somebody do an overall design for the park that would help uh, both us and city and public works and maintenance and everybody else who's involved in this um, to have a common goal. Mm. Yeah. Well, the park's been there a long time, so <laughs> with, yeah. the, with the with the um, with the the flooring that you're talking about for the playground to to make it beautiful there, mm -hmm. with some of the artwork that you're going to put on the ground and um, maybe the path that you're talking about, mm -hmm. but um, a whole theme has just been Dorset Park. And you know, if y'all doing if, a new sign, then I'm, I'm just thinking that we don't want to approach it piecemeal. That we, right. you know, not like having it like a. Um, you know, look look like somebody's just thrown a whole bunch of different ideas at it. Um, it'd be it'd be good if we could have some coherence to the design of the the redesign of the park. I mean, generally, that that would entail landscape architects or, mm -hmm. or people who are trained that way. Yes, to do that kind of an overview. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are a lot of artists that do that mm -hmm. uh, as as their product, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, sort of. Uh, places, uh, place making. Right. Mm -hmm. You go over to the University of South Florida in, in Tampa, and they have quite a few of them that are, uh, but they were they were big budget, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, but to somebody to come in and see see uh, Dorset Park and then to come up with some kind of a plan um, that you know that that could could involve um, a committee. To do it, or or an individual person to mm -hmm. do it, to design it, uh, okay. and then it would sort of be the same kind of thing. Uh, they would design it, and then the city would facilitate it somehow. Mm -hmm. This is sort of what you're saying. Yeah. Somebody come up and have an overview of it. But Instead that costs of, money cause, too. Because there's, there's really there, there's multiple projects in this, and it sounds like there's a big renovation going on with this yeah. thing. Yeah. And it's very important, and we're looking for, in some ways, a project. Yeah. <laughs> and and. and so how how we get this away from the piecemeal to an overview of it? Right. Well, I think it's important probably for the city to come yeah. up with their right. plan first. And that's what mm -hmm. Mr. Lacour said yesterday. Mm -hmm. Next year, the city is going to do a whole plan. Mm. The buildings are going to be relocated. Everything going to like move around. Mm. But right now, okay. until then, we work with what we have. So if we enhance in the playground right now, the blue form. That we putting on the ground under each new piece of equipment. The, the piece of equipment is already ordered, mm -hmm. so it, it, it's nothing for the artist to do besides put a stencil on there and spray paint it and make it mm -hmm. like put a bird or something on there. But mm -hmm. that's all I'm talking about. Not recreate the whole. But are those going to possibly piece. be? Is the playground going to possibly be relocated also? I don't think the playground is going to be really relocated. They probably work around it, especially if you put all that stuff out there. Yeah, because right. the swing I'm just thinking, you know, a there. year sounds like a long time, but it really isn't. Like, is it better for mm -hmm. the remodeling or re, you know, whatever they're doing to happen f first or in conjunction with mm -hmm. um, these projects at the same time so that it's not kind of, you know, it's designed for here, but then I got to move it over there. Like, it's not that far away. So it's probably better to work together with the city renovation and put these in once and for all in their final place. Right. Yeah. Then moving yeah. stuff around. Yeah, I agree. To to summarize, I think that the um, all we can do at the moment um, is to find out what the city is going to do and when and and when. Yeah, mm. um, and see what's left for for us to do. Yeah. Um, so perhaps Nick, you could continue monitoring that. Oh, working with the committee, um, the um, revitalization committee, to make sure that um, we, yeah, we understand. And if, right. and, if, That's what I am. Yeah. and if if you find out, uh, well, not if you find out, but when you find out things, um, please pass them to Diane yep. for distribution. Yep. Mm -hmm. Will you all still do the call to artists for the... Mm -hmm. Yeah. For the mural yeah. part, that's going to be something um, that moves forward. Not until we understand whether that we, building is going to be uh, replaced or repainted. We, uh, yeah. But either way, you're going to put the mural there. If you wait until right. then, but, you but can't But we can't yeah. tell an artist what we want them to do until we know what, they, what we want them to do it to. Right. So he, there's no point thought, in putting out a call yeah. to artists and say, hey, we've got this building that's kind of going to be maybe, um, we don't know. 
I wonder if if it's not something that we could just start generating some interest in, not necessarily put out the call, but say, there's this great renovation project. The the um, public art committee is involved, and we've got a, a you know a, a committee about the for the beautification of the park and um, and kind of just an overview of the plans just to get the the word out that it's going to be happening and there's going to be a call of art called artist and we're planning on murals and other art projects just to kind of get the word out there so that when we're ready to do it maybe there's people that have been thinking about it um, still, I mean, if you don't know what the building is going to end up looking like, you don't really know what to do. Right. Sure. No, no, that, right. That, yeah. yeah, it's just it's just more of a, you know, this is something exciting that's going to be happening next year kind of thing. Not, we we need somebody to do a mural, but saying, you know, this is a little bit of history about the park and this is what, you know. That's the, the city would put out a press release like that. Not gotcha. Us. Right. Yeah. So if Mr. Dawn, I, said I think the, um, that is the job of the, um, Dorset Park Revitalization Committee mm -hmm. to approach the city for them to put out the publicity for that. Gotcha. Put out the publicity for what? For the Dorset Park Revitalization projects. Well, that's that's basically why we're here. We, we uh, are. <clears throat> but we're not the people who would do that. The city is... Um, Public uh, marketing department does that. Who, who? Well, it's like the no. It's like um, Judy Staley mm -hmm. is our uh, uh, the city information officer, and so she puts out all the press releases yes. for stuff happening mm -hmm. around. So when they're ready to announce the revitalization of Dorset Park, then she would be the one to put out that press release. But um, I think really the first. You know, we're getting way off track. I, I really think that the the best thing for me to do is sit down with Mark and find out, you know, and, and Tom function of what the timeline is and what the plan is mm -hmm. with, the, you know, because for the building, Katie, what they're trying to say is that if they're going to be knocking a, build, a wall down and, you know, and expanding it, we want to know which ones we can paint a mural mm -hmm. on first mm -hmm. before we put a call to artist out. So I can find that out pretty quickly, okay. you know, kind of yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. So we won't yeah. hold you up. Okay. And then yeah. we can just move forward. If they say it's going to, well, it might not be for two years. Then you can still right. move sure. forward. What we have here, right? And the artist just be told that we can right. create it. Yeah. yeah, and we are working with the garden club, so maybe maybe eventually we can work, you know, work along with them too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if Nick <clears throat> want to meet Excuse with us, me. I'm yeah, sorry. No. That's all right, um, Stephen. Did you have something to contribute? Uh, yeah, I was just going to say that. Could you uh, come up to the microphone, yeah. please? I was just going to say one thing that you can do with a mural is um, you can actually paint it on like MDO panels. Some things actually panelized. And could actually be removed and replaced onto a building. So, oh, mm -hmm. as, long as, you, as long as you know you have a certain amount of surface area to work with, yeah. you could still do it. Yeah. And, Thank you. And the artist yes. that I was talking to, he uh, he offered he offered to go and do the measurements on this building, oh. and he does just what Stephen says. He does the panels. That's what he's doing for us. Okay. So, do you, is it okay to ask him to do the measurements on the building? I'll wait until you speak to Mr. Lacourse. Well, we to Joan, not Joan. We can't. Diane. We can't really. You mean what do you mean? Th ask him if he can do it. Well, I was gonna. He was gonna do the dimensions. He was gonna go out there and measure it. But I'm not gonna have him doing things. Well, that for me as a favor. <laughs> right. And to, if we're gonna do a call to artist, then he got to get in line. He got to do it the right way. Right. So I'm not right. gonna have him doing things. Well, like that's that. what I thought that we said earlier is that you do want us to put a call out to get different, feet, you know, different well, people. That was a question with Nick. Do. What is, and David, uh, what, what really David, do we have to have a call to artists if we know an artist? Well, that's the thing, is that that's what you, he, he would have to fill out that form that I gave to Nick, which I could email to you too, but um, he would have to fill all that out, and then he would have to give us a rendering, give the Public Art Committee a rendering of each of the walls of what he's proposing, what what materials he's going to use, mm -hmm. and also what his cost is, what he wants as far as compensation goes okay. to do that project. And then when we have all that, he sends it, you send it to me, then I bring it to the Public Art Committee at their next meeting. And that's kind of how we kind of handled that, you know, so they can see, like, what he's going to do, the design and everything, and then um, if 
the public art committee approves it, then it goes to Mark LaCourse and the mayor, you know, to approve. Because he's been working on a sketch for me, but yeah. I'm just doing it, everything on the yeah. side. I'm trying to get Nancy, yeah. Stanley's, uh, Calvin's sister, to approve the sketch before I bring it to y'all. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's, that's the difference in procedure between proposing a project and doing a call to artists. Right. Okay, so he if he wants to propose the project and you guys are cool with that, mm -hmm. then we could go that route and not do the call to artists for it. Okay. So okay. Can I because get the either either way, we would have passed it back to the your um, okay. committee to do the selection. Had it gone out to selection, okay. so you know if you want to do that and make a proposal along the lines of, of, of what Diane has said, then that's perfectly okay with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because so if you, you have send an me the form and yeah. I'll send it to him, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you have my email, right? Yeah, I sure do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. Well, that's a great start. Yeah, and so um, you know, and meanwhile we'll time. we'll see what we can find out about um, what the mm -hmm. city's plans are for that building. And in the meantime, if you know during his proposal, you know with his proposal, he should probably put all his me he should go out and do all the measurements because yeah. then he's going to have to estimate the the amount of materials he needs. Yeah, he basically everything. said everything that y'all said, but he just, <laughs> <laughs> he just keeping it with yeah. me, you know. Okay. So. Yeah. Thank you. Sounds good. Okay. That's, awesome. um, so, but that, that's one, he will be one call, one that we would do doing, but then y'all will be doing another call to artists for well, not the necessarily. plaques. It's one or, I mean, for the plaques. For, oh, for, for the plaques. plaques. Yeah, depending right. on what else. And the benches. Or yeah, plaques what else is benches, done. Yeah. You said three calls. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll get the information from oh, yeah. mural artists. said possibly, yeah. Yeah, so if he's going to do the project and you guys are okay with it and we approve it, then we wouldn't do a call to artists for the mural, but we would do call to artists for any other art projects. Okay. Right. Uh, I'll send him the one yeah. for the mural. Right? Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay, so in light of that, Nick, if you would find out what um, is being proposed to put on the plaques and how big they are and, and that kind of thing, um, then you can bring that back next at the next meeting and we can consider having a call for um, the manufacturer of such. And then if you, they, they do want, if the selection committee does want the benches, then it's like how many benches? What type of you know what type of materials is it a mosaic is what is what is it that you want is it you yeah. know so mm -hmm. um, so it's got we got to have those details yeah yeah and probably just an overall idea of budget for total you know like yeah. art projects and, and can you do that. Where the benches would be located. Find out, yeah, coordinate, yeah. see what yeah. they want on the um, flags. Sure. Yeah, yeah. thank like, you. Like they were, like she was saying, uh, a wish list and then prioritized, and then you know a proposed budget for for those things. Okay. And then we can kind of go from there. Speaking of budgets. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Uh, the <clears throat> there are no current project updates. The projected balance as of nine thirty. 2023, the end of the month, will be $147,356. Thank you. What we just paid him? Yes. Okay. okay. And Stephen has just received his second installment. Yes. He said that in his note to us. Great. Thank you. I'm glad we all agree on that, Stephen. <laughs> um, okay, uh, is there anything on the CRA mural project? Not uh, yet. I expect something next month. Okay, thank you. Um, and on to new business, art for the city clerk's building. Um, we want to be in this from the very beginning, not coming along later once the building has completed. Um, um, how do we do that, Diane? Um, I'll just have to uh, contact Bob Robertson and just let him know. Um, if um, at like what point, you know, it's if Joan or I could have a meeting, depending on who's not got COVID, <laughs> <laughs> to to discuss that, that would be helpful. Him. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, the new one that's under construction. We need to get a move on. Um, 
staff and committee public comments and announcements. Staff? Yeah, I was just going to say, um, just remember that um, Elizabeth Indianos uh, opening reception is Saturday. You know, you all got an invitation and you have RSVP to me. So um, it starts at 6 o'clock at the Cultural Center. So look forward to seeing you there. And you have our new uh, season brochure. So please peruse that and sign up for as many shows as you'd like. <laughs> That's all <laughs> I have. Thank you. Megan? Thank you. And, uh, and the uh, renovations for the uh, cultural center are coming along, I understand. Yes, yes, that's, uh, that's a process where uh, the theater is going to be renovated and um, we are replacing the current theater seats that are in there and uh, we just had it painted. We put up um, some uh, darkening um, blinds for that. We're going to get new lighting new sound equipment and new carpeting. So um, as of, I think it'll all be completed, God willing, <laughs> by mid-December, um, okay. you know, uh, I think. Excellent. And so, yeah, so maybe in start January, our, our first community theater uh, production will be in the new theater. And um, we're hoping that now with all these renovations that we can accommodate a lot more types of activities like, you know, different meetings and things like that, you know, and I, because there's 70 seats in there, it's very comfortable. We could, you know, have programs, PowerPoints, uh, show films and things like that. Great. So, yes. And also I want to tell you that uh, the Christopher Still, um, uh, well, that exhibition is kind of like a work in progress, but I do have um, Chris's new 30-minute uh, history of Tarpon Springs video at the Heritage Museum now. Oh, so if you all want to come by, we're open 10 to 4, Monday through Friday, mm -hmm. and uh, we can put it on for you, but it is beautiful. It's, it's kind of the same thing that he did at um, uh, Advent Health, and you know, the one that he did for them, but he's just kind of shortened it a little bit, and uh, it's, it's really beautiful. So Good. please come by and see Thank it you. at your convenience. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure to do that. Yeah, that's all I have. Thank um, you. Any committee observations, comments? <laughs> I have just have. I just have a quick thing um, on the signal art boxes uh, wraps. I touched base with Gina Harvey from um, Pinellas County. And she said, my art expert just got back yesterday from a couple months of maternity leave. Her first task is to develop the signal wrap guidelines and the MOU or maintenance agreement needs. I should have more information later this month. Great. So I was um, going to bring up, too, that I just saw one on the corner of Klosterman and uh, yeah. Pinellas. So yeah. That's pretty close to us. Yeah. <laughs> that one is right on super cute. But I will tell you, uh, I forget where it was along 19, but my husband and I were taking a roundabout way. And there's one on 19 at, at an inter. Oh, I think Dodecanese in 19. And the, the, the wrap on it is people crossing a crosswalk with a stop, with the stoplights. And I'm like, how is that art? I was, like, I was like, and it goes all the way around, like people crossing. It's like, okay, somebody, somebody missed the memo on that one. But the one at Klosterman and, and Alt 19 is, is super so nice. Is that Tarpon then? Yeah, I don't know where that one came from, but I, I want to say there, there there was somebody in scrubs crossing the street, and it looked very multicultural, so I'm wondering if it's something that Advent Health did or something, but no. yeah. it's it's really not there are, great. The county's driving that program. Yeah. yeah. There are, there are things that the county does and things that the city does <laughs> and things that the power companies do <laughs> yes, and things that the... <laughs> cable companies do yeah. that um, that we have no control over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I, I remember I, I it was just this past weekend and my husband and I were coming and I was like and I was in the passenger seat so I'm sitting there looking at it all the way around. I was like, oh this is not good. But you know it, there's no graffiti there. So but anyway I, I should have more information and if I get it in time from her uh, hopefully by the end of the month I'll send it for inclusion in, in the next meeting. Minutes. Robert? Uh, I have a self-serving <laughs> announcement. <laughs> All right. Uh, good. Uh, Carol and I are having a show at the Florida Wildlife Corridors Gallery called Wild Spaces, which is going to be an inaugural show for them. 
Uh, it's in the uh, factory in St. Petersburg. You know, it's near. Oh, near oh the, yeah. Near the um, um, fairgrounds, mm -hmm. and uh, it's in the headquarters of uh, Florida Wildlife Corridor. And the Florida Wildlife Corridor, you know, is that mm -hmm. uh, advocacy group that uh, walks from one end of Florida to the mm. other to yeah. make sure that the wildlife can go the same same directions and stuff. It's yeah. a really great thing. But we are doing a show uh, about, uh, it's, it's called Circle of Water, and it's about uh, uh, a number of things. One of them is uh, we're doing a 10 foot by 12 foot map of the state of Florida and every body of water that's in it and mm. nothing else. Wow. Oh, it just it looks great. like a piece of lace. And uh, <laughs> for, for people to, to think about Florida and, you know, to, to look at it where you're only looking at the water itself, it's amazing. Now, that includes streams and manufactured water. Wow. So oh. you see big sugar. You see what they're doing down south. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it looks like, you know, they just, these rows and rows and rows and rows and rows of canals that they dig to mm. steal the water from Lake, Lake Okeechobee instead mm. of it going into, um, into the Everglades. If it does get into the Everglades, it's polluted. Mm. <laughs> you know, mm. so it's yeah. really ruined. But anyway, we're doing that map. It probably won't be complete because there's 144 sections to it, and we're doing it by hand. Wow. wow. So, so we could have done it by computer, and it would be done in an afternoon, but that's no fun. Right. <laughs> yeah. so, it's too fun at all. <laughs> and so the show is just really about uh, our, our – the title of that piece is called State of Water. So uh, it, the part of the issue is – salt water intrusion into our freshwater aquifers, mm -hmm. which is happening mm -hmm. more and more rapidly. As the yeah. water rises, comes in, we're going to, you know, it, it, it's a threat to our freshwater. It is. Mm -hmm. What are so, the dates, Robert? Uh, the date is it will open on October 14th, I believe. There will be a number of openings. We're trying to have receptions and openings on uh, the Saturday art walk nights. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And... Uh, there will be some lectures. Uh, what Mr. Uh, I think it's uh, what is his name? He's, he's a, a professor emeritus from USF. He's uh, uh, he, he's written many books about the formation of the state of Florida itself, physically, oh. about how it happened. And so so you know all about how we're really just a sea bottom that somehow or another is above sea level. <laughs> and um, so he he. Uh, Carol will have conversations with him about it. It runs through the end of January, I believe. Okay. I'm sure there's a website um, covering. There, there the, will this be. Thing. Yeah, I think there will and be. Uh, uh, Noel Smith, who's the uh, retired uh, curator of Latin American studies at, at University of South Florida, is curating it for us. And uh, and then uh, the National Wildlife Corridor is making sure the publicity and everything yeah. is going out. So okay. they're really, really good at that. So when you find out those details, could you communicate them to sure. Diane to, sure. for a distribution? Yeah, we'll make sure. Thank you. Is. Good. is it on yeah. the same lines as your exhibition you had at the Leap Arachna? Because that blew my mind oh, away. It, it, I it, love it's, that. It's our body of work, yes. Yeah. Honey, it, it, we, we sort of do that, but this one's a, um, a little different take in that we're, we're now looking at waters on the interior of Florida. Mm -hmm. we're, you know, if, uh, we've done work where we've done, done art about the Gulf of Mexico, uh, and and uh, how it's warming and it's Jeez. much hotter than the rest of the ocean, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you know, the, um, the storm that just went over cooled it just a teensy weensy little bit, but it's coming back again. Mm -hmm. yeah. And of course, it expands and it gets higher and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But we never included Lake Okeechobee in the map of Florida because <laughs> oh, we, yeah. we were only interested in the shoreline. Yeah. Okay. So okay. so now we looked at that as a as an omission. Huh. And uh, so we're, we're interested in things like just up here up the road, Green Swamp is a major uh, tributary to five different ma yeah, rivers in the state of Florida. And it's, a, what do they call it, a water sink. In, or no, uh, it, it's actually a, a carbon sink. Mm -hmm. it, it, helps, it helps absorb the carbon as well, but it also is, is uh, supplying the aquifers which supply these major rivers uh, that, that come through... Uh, our area and stuff. So, so anyway, it's a it's a show. It's it's 
it's a lot about science, and uh, but but as visual artists, we're doing it. Just a side note, W E D U um, has done a series of about six or eight little three-minute things on their on their um, website on their internet thing uh, about Carol and Marty's work. It's all done in our studio, and what they approached us about is that we made art about climate issues. Yeah. And they wanted to find a different way of bringing it to the public than just dealing with the science. Mm -hmm. So we're beginning to become more part of mm -hmm. that. So uh, uh, oh. they fill in our our pain, our artwork with relevant video and stuff like that and voiceover. Oh, wow. so, oh, okay. so that's, I'm excited that's to see uh, it. on their uh, WEDU, whatever they whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. So yes, yeah, so it's, it's continuing. Yeah. We, yeah. We are, we are, yeah. I, I mean, three, four years ago, I never thought I'd be, in, yeah, reading books about <laughs> climate control and stuff yeah. like that. But it's where it lasts. <laughs> it's like yeah. making, okay. making a play about it. But yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, um, Viva. Nick. I don't have any comments. And I have no comments either. So, mm -hmm. um, the next regular meeting will be. Um, October, 11th. October 11th at uh, 2 p.m. Same time, same place. Okay. And it's going to be a long channel. meeting because mm -hmm. we have a lot of things to vote on. Uh, yeah. yeah. Illuminated and art boxes, you have the Riverside proposals. Yeah. So. Okay. yeah. The, so everybody be This will be, yeah, prepare to be here for a while. Yeah. Um, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Fair make sure you are here. Hopefully yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully yeah. I'm not reserved. So um, at 3.16, I declare the meeting closed. Good meeting. And adjourned until next time. All righty. Nick, can I, can I go ahead and scan these? Nick, can I, can I take these and sure. scan them yeah. and I'll get it to everybody? Along with the notes. And uh, thank you, Katie and Stephen, yeah. for being here.